When naming producers that have helped shape the sound of hip hop and trap music today, it's impossible not to mention Wheezy. I'm Wheezy and I'm the 2022 WXL freshman producer. If you don't already know who Wheezy is, his credits include some of the biggest names in the industry. This list includes artists such as Future, Lil Baby, Young Thug, Gunna, Travis Scott. Odds are you've heard the legendary Wheezy out of here on songs such as Wheezy out of here. Today I'm going to be taking a deep dive to see what we can learn from Wheezy's production style on these two songs. So the song Hot starts off with an anthemic chord progression played by some trumpets. Wheezy out of here. To recreate this trumpet sound, I grabbed a preset from Expand 2, which I thought had a similar sound, and laid down these chords. I also grabbed a choir preset from Expand and laid down this stab. The next thing that we hear in this song are Wheezy's signature hard-hitting drums punching through the mix. Wheezy mentions in this interview that he likes to have his hi-hats hitting late. So that's your hi-hat that you go to? Yeah, see, I go to it because like... He also chooses to sprinkle in some triplet hi-hat rolls to add some sauce. One of his go-to effects plugins for his hi-hats is Looperator. Looperator adds stutter and modulation effects and can be heard on songs such as... He also adds some spaced out 808s, a clap, and some accent snares in unconventional locations. Finally, a simple melodic lead element comes in during the second half of the hook to really tie the beat together. To achieve this sound, I layered two soft lead presets from Expand together and played this pattern. The structure of this song is fairly simple, with the same pattern being looped throughout with a few beat cuts and filter sweeps to add some variation. The next beat that I'm going to be breaking down is Meek Mill's Going Bad featuring Drake. The first sound that we hear when the track starts is a dark chop piano paired with some vinyl crackle. To achieve this sound, I use Addictive Keys Grand Piano preset, some RC20, an EQ to boost some mids, and an LFO tool to create that chopped sample effect that we hear. For the drums on this beat, he uses what sounds like a Zay 808, a two-step hi-hat, and a standard clap pattern to complement the piano. Similar to Hot, the beat features various cuts and dropouts to emphasize certain sections and maintain the energy of the song. If there's one thing that we can learn from these two songs, it's that you don't need to overcomplicate your beats to make a hit. That being said, I'm going to try and show you how you can take inspiration from Wheezy's sound and implement it into your own beats. First, I laid down this trumpet pattern with session horns from Contact. Next, I added some catchy vocals from Exhale. I also added a bass from Chris Hines Strings Contact Library to help support the low end of the trumpets. Finally, I added a catchy lead from Expand that comes in during the hook section of the beat. Now it's time to create some drums. At these slower BPMs between 110 and 130, using a one-third step grid for your hi-hats is a great way to achieve that authentic wheezy bounce. And then this simple 808. I also added a few accent snares. One thing that makes Wheezy's beats stand out is the way he adds accent snares in unconventional locations. To finish off the beat, I added some open hats in the second half of the hook to create some variation. For the next beat, I'm going to try and capture the vibe of Going Bad. I started this melody by laying down a simple dark piano melody using addictive keys. I 
I rendered that piano melody out, threw it into Fruity Slicer, and chopped it up. I then added a dark repetitive pad layer from Analog Lab that comes in during the breakdown of the beat. Next, I added a synth one shot from Scorch on the downbeat of every eight bars. To create some variation in the beat, I reversed the piano and pitched it down an octave in some sections. Adding drums on this beat was pretty straightforward. If you need samples like the ones that were used in this video, be sure to check out the free packs that I put in the description. I'll also be including the project files and the drums to all these beats that I made in the description. Be sure to check those out. With that being said, we'll see you in the next one.